Anyway, hey, my name is Carlos Miller. I'm the founder and publisher of the Photographers on a Crime blog. I started that in 2007 after I, after I was arrested in Miami for taking pictures of cops. And the blog kind of morphed into something that's kind of big. You know, I get a lot of readers. I get up to 550,000 page views a month on a good month. And I've been arrested a couple more times after that for taking pictures or shooting video of cops. So the blog is where this, uh, you know, photography is not a crime. I try to emphasize that. And unfortunately, a lot of people do get arrested for taking pictures or shooting video. Cops have a big problem with that. They have a big problem with being recorded, although they have no problem recording us. And we have no choice in that. You know, they can record us, and that's the way it is. But we have the right, we have the legal right to record them, and we have to continue educating them. That even if they know, and we have to stand up for our rights. So that's what my blog's about. And I, I came here specifically to focus on that, to see how the interaction would be between photographers and cops, or, or, or just people taking pictures or shooting video in the streets. And what I've seen so far, in my, my own eyes, it, it's been pretty cool. But then you guys told me the story, so now I have to have second thoughts about that. Do you have driver's license or just those press, press credentials? We had press passes around our neck at the time, but they said that wasn't sufficient. If somebody pulled you over, let's say, a year from now, and they ran your name and date of birth, they could see on tonight's date and time that I came in contact with you, you identified yourself as a member of the press, and that was it. Cameras are our weapons. The world is watching, and these guys know that. Homeland Security, keep moving. Yeah. What's that? So, that's my D on you. Uh, we'll ID ourselves, but we, we don't have any... Alright, let me explain something to you, right? We're not Miami, we're not Florida, anything like that. So what are we being detained for now? That's what that main question, because I know my rights you're as far film, as being you're detained. You're filming the federal comms and the security measures. That in itself is against the law. Free people are allowed to walk around and take pictures, just the same way you are. But what gives you the authority to declare that you have to have my papers? And I respect you guys as human beings, but I don't respect what you're doing and violating my rights. Hey, how you doing? Good evening. Yeah, my name is Carlos. Carlos Miller. Um, I run a blog called Photography is Not a Crime. And I understand there's a couple of photojournalists who are detained for photographing this area. Just wondering, what is the policy? There's a law that you're not allowed to photograph this area. Is I don't there... have any comment for you, but I can refer you to uh, our public affairs person. Oh, here we go. Cool. Hey, guys. How are you doing, sir? Uh, hey, I'm Commander Summers. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Doing okay, what can I do for you tonight? Um, well, we were just curious as far as what kind of policies you guys have around uh, taking photos and video. Taping. Yes, sir. Okay, what I would like to do is I will get you our contact, our public affairs officer's information, okay? Yep. And you can get in touch with them. They'll be glad to speak to you guys or talk to them. What is your name? I'm Commander Summers. So you're the commander, so can you tell us if... I'll get you his contact information. Be right back, okay? <laughs> His name is Carlos Miller and his arrest is now raising questions about freedom of the press and the functionings of police. Yeah, I was covering the Occupy Miami eviction and I've been covering that for months ever since it started. And I was there and I was, they evicted the whole camp. They waited until all the activists had been evicted. I was walking back to my car and I was arrested by the public information officer. She is the woman who deals with the media. And her beef with me was, I'm not part of the corporate media. Although, I mean, I just have, have as many rights as any journalist has, and I have a lot of, but he still works for the corporate media, and so I know how they work, but but she, she arrested me. She says, yeah, you, you have no right to be here because we told you to disperse, and you didn't disperse. Meanwhile, all the other journalists, the corporate journalists, were there walking around, just, you know, scratching their ass, doing whatever the hell they're doing, and they were not getting harassed. I got arrested. Then they deleted the footage I had because I was shooting. I was recording while I was getting arrested, which showed I was not interfering or I was not resisting or obstructing, which is what they accused me of. 
so they deleted that footage and I spent the night in jail. I recovered my camera and recovered the footage. It took a few days and I put it up online and it shows that I was not resisting. That was what I'm being charged with resisting and obstructing. And so we, they insist on taking that to trial, which is kind of weird because they're not gonna win. And I don't know why they continue to fight this, but we, we are, September 19th is the case, is a trial. And it's gonna be a lot of fun because I have, I mean, this is the strongest case I've had so far. I've beaten two already. And this is gonna be the one where I'm gonna walk in there and just laugh in their face.